So what happened um, during this, at the end of this 21 months that he provided us these documents? Well, we had some problems with one of the drops he made for us in April of 1977. It seems that there were some anomalies in the package when we opened it and we became very concerned that something had happened to him. But we proceeded then to plan for the next drop, which was the end of June. And I went to the drop site as I had before, and there was a terrible rainstorm that night. And as I went to pick up his package to us on my return visit, when I went back to the site after waiting 30 minutes, I discovered that Trigon's package was on the ground. He had not been there that night. So our next drop to him was on June, on July 15th. It was on the top of a railroad bridge along the pedestrian walkway. I proceeded as I had before. I walked to the bridge. I went on top of the bridge and I took the package out of my bag and put it into the drop site. I waited a few minutes in the middle of the bridge and then returned down the steps of the bridge. And before I got to the bottom of the bridge, three men came across the street and grabbed me. It was clear that Trigon had been arrested. <clears throat> they searched my purse and they went and retrieved the package so they already knew where it was. They took me to Lubyanka prison where they did a, a very minor um, interrogation. And after several hours, I was allowed to leave. I returned to Washington the next day um, and met with the headquarters officers as we tried to discover what had happened to Trigon. We learned later on that Karagon had been compromised by a, a contract employee in the CIA who had been translating some audio tapes that we had of Trigon. Um, but Trigon's uh, providing this information to us helped us through a very tense and difficult time between the United States and the USSR during the Cold War. And he has been uh, called a hero, and I consider him to be a hero as well.